Can you give us an example of how you felt really frustrated while abroad? What did you do to overcome this? It frustrates me a lot when I have difficulties to communicate or um, to be understood. I'll give you an example of something that happened to me in the supermarket. So the cashier make, made a mistake and took my money and took the money out of my bank card two times. I didn't realize at the time, but only later when I was checking my bank account. And when I saw that, I immediately called the company and told them, I tried to explain them the fact that there was less money and like, I, I really had I, I trouble to communicate that. And also they had a really strong accent. So the conversation was kind of very difficult and we didn't get to any, any place. So what I did next, instead of like, I could have said yes, yes, and just dropped the thing. But I decided that I had to face it because there was money at stake. So I, I went to my housemates and I told them the problem that, that I wasn't able to communicate and I was gonna lose money for it. And my housemates offered me support and told me that if needed, they, they would talk on my behalf. And next time I called, I guess that, that made me more self-confident because I was able to, to tell them what happened and yeah, finally they understood me and we, we sorted out everything. So that was very rewarding because I faced it and I succeeded. Yeah, I had a moment of frustration, but not uh, as very, very uh, important ones. I mean, for example, the, the only time I felt frustrated was at the beginning of the semester, since uh, the guys where I was living with, they wanted to put also always the TV with baseball, football, sports, and I really want I don't I didn't want to do to, to see that. So I once told them, please, can I see another thing in the TV? And they were like annoying me. No, no, you can't. So I tried to express myself in English, and I couldn't. I, I just split Spanish words, and, and they were like, "What are you saying?" But I, I couldn't just talk to them like right as I wanted, and, and this frustrated me a lot. But at the end of the semester, I was able to. <laughs> to yeah to say them the things I wanted to say in English. So at the beginning was that frustration. I think that um, when you cannot express your feelings, because maybe in the language that the foreign language that you are studying is not a word of a that is in your own and, and it's not the same meaning. I, it was really frustrating to me to not uh, I don't know express that, that feeling or that meaning or maybe sometimes that there were misunderstandings because the language. It was really frustrating because I, I was like feeling that I couldn't communicate well in English. So, but um, I don't know. You can always say I, I don't know how to express that or ask for trying to to define the words or something. So I try to work on it like that.